What is something about yourself that sounds totally made up but is 100% real? Once in college I applied for a job at the library help desk. I figured I would help people find books. Didn't give it much more thought than that. During the interview, I aced all of the customer service questions. Then they asked me whether I knew how to defrag a hard drive. Cue alarm bells in my head. But I kept calm outwardly and said no. But you can teach me. I worked in IT for 3 years by accident. They were too nice to fire me. I made my last boss swear on her life she wouldn't call me for tech support. They call my cell when I'm sick in bed and ask how to reinstall the printer. Not a dang week later. It's always the printers that get you. You can be a 55 year old CTO. But when then CEO's printer stops working. You're the one who has to open it up and pretend like anyone knows how to fix a printer. I've been stabbed 8 times at it. This is a fairly new account so I'm prepared to identify myself. I didn't get the chance to tell my story in court as they pled guilty before I was called. I was drunk and I came out the pub I was in to get some fresh air. I walked past three guys and one of them asked me for a cigarette. I told him I don't smoke and he became immediately aggressive. I argued with him for a while and his friends started shouting at me and threatening me. At this point he kind of disappeared behind me. One of the others showed me a knife so I turned and walked away. I knew they were following me as I was walking back to the pub. I had a bus stop on my left hand side and a building on my right. I looked up and saw the first guy walking towards me. It was fight or flight and I had nowhere to fight or so I decided that attack was the best form of defense. I think I managed one punch before the three of them jumped me. They had been robbing and beating up people all over town for about two weeks beforehand. I've been in three fatal train accidents. Never had a scratch. Found the star of Unbreakable. I took my mother for a surprise trip to NYC she got married to my father there in 1968. The surprise was manufactured by way of telling her we were going to Australia. We live in New Zealand. So a trip to Australia is not a huge deal. It's the type of thing you could do for the weekend. And therefore she packed a bag and brought her passport. We got to the airport and said surprise. We're going to New York and she cried her eyes out with delight. When we arrived. On our first morning, I said okay, what do you want to do she said when I was last here. In 1968, the twin towers weren't complete. So, I'd like to go to the top of them your wish is my command I said and off we went to the WTC. That was the afternoon of the 10th of September, 2001. Suffice it to say, there was a particular poignancy when we looked out the window at around 8am the next morning. Arrested and spent three days in a holding cell for a crime that I didn't commit. About a year after the whole matter was done and dusted with. Mind you. I say, didn't commit a crime. But I was involved in the story from start to finish. What was the crime you were accused of? My wife, then girlfriend, and I eloped. We crossed over three states in India over a five day period to get married. My father-in-law, then mortal nemesis, is a well connected man. He got in touch with his contacts in the police department to try and get a hold of us and filed a formal complaint as part of due process. Long story short, we got married. The rather inept police couldn't find a couple of 21 year olds. Over the next 4 months, all of it was sorted out. First, we were vilified, then the parents were mollified, etc etc. But in the beautiful ending to that story, my father in law forgot to retract his complaint. Proceed to our first wedding anniversary and we were taking a flight out of the country for a celebratory vacation. From Bombay airport, India to Dubai airport, the United Arab Emirates. I was flagged at immigration and was taken across to a cell where I was duly arrested. My crime? Kidnapping. I was being accused of having kidnapped the lady I was now married to. Taken to a cell. Whilst my wife tried to explain the misunderstanding. One cunt of a cop told her, madam. Don't worry, we know how Stockholm Syndrome works, you are safe now etc. And this was on a Friday evening. Due judicial process was followed and I was released by the judge on the following Monday. Hell of a story to share with people when we include all the details of the planning and execution. 
Edit. We marked our 10th anniversary on the 12th of this month and the 9th anniversary of me getting my ass hauled to jail. My grandfather went AWOL on the French Foreign Legion and was banned from ever going back to France. All because he left to marry my grandmother Edit. Oh god this blew up. Reddit you- Oh fuck me. Sorry man. I beat anorexia. I'm a guy and I do not have photos of me from that time. Due to shame. So I have no proof. I have gone from 70 pounds to about 130 pounds. Hey pajama kitten, if you're watching this, good for you. That's fucking awesome. I was born 12 weeks early, and was nearly born earlier my mom had a weak uterus from endo, so they had to push me back and stitch her up. The doctors told my parents to expect me to be unable to breathe, walk, etc on my own. The doctor performing the c-section nearly dropped in surprise and how hard I was screaming and flailing. I do have a few health problems, but it could have been much worse. Editing since others are mentioning their experiences and health issues. I had hydrocephalus. It was treated poorly. The doctor thought I was fine. And my parents were overreacting when I was seizing and turning colors. It was treated. And now had about 6 feet of tubing in the form of a shunt. As well as seizures or I'll never outgrow. They're treated with medication. Otherwise. Outside asthma and other smaller things. I live a normal life. I graduated high school a few years ago. And hope to be married soon. Hey if you're watching this and you do end up getting married soon. Congratulations, and I wish you all the happiness in the world. I found out my father wasn't my biological father in 10th grade biology class. We were learning about blood types and trays. I raised my hand thinking I was a smart ass. Your chart isn't accurate. My dad has ab negative and I'm O positive. My teacher said I think your mom has some explaining to do. And we all chuckled. Turned out, he was not my father. Hey what's up everyone, OKPJ okay, here. Thanks for watching my video. If you didn't hate it, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you want to see videos like this every single day, and I'll see you tomorrow.